It really feels like life is flashing before my eyes po. And I really felt hopeless knowing that I cannot do much about our situation right now and that we will finish six years of high school in front of a laptop. I think I would describe my senior year as very anticlimactic. There are a lot of things na ina-expect ng isang senior college students, kunwari thesis defense, uh, graduation rehearsals, uh, toga fitting, and daming activities na hindi namin magagawa. We're planning to have a trip. Yung last trip mo during the college, and little did they know na yung huling kita pala namin nung March is yun na pala yung last. So hindi man lang kami nagkaroon ng something na get together. I can say that it's sad and I feel like I'm robbed because the celebration inside the gym of school ko, it gives me a sense that I have accomplished a lot of things and it's like a way to celebrate all my accomplishments. Siguro po yung pinaka-namiss ko po ay yung graduation rehearsal tapos prom. Kasi sa amin po, hindi po namin nalanasan yung uh, JS prom. Tapos syempre yung graduation rehearsal kasi wala naman na po yung akit ng stage. So talagang pure, wala na ng preparations. That is something that we are looking forward to. Even as freshies before, no, na makakapagsablay kami, um, makakapagayos kami, no, and we're going to share it with our family, with our friends. Feeling ko kasi, kung disappointed ako na hindi ako nakapag-march uh, ha for my graduation, my parents would be more disappointed kasi parang for me, ano, eh, hindi ko lang kasi achievement to. Achievement din ng parents ko na napag-graduate nila ako. Hindi makikita ng mga parents ko yung pagdakit ko sa stage, which is minsan lang naman mangyari sa buong buhay ko. hirap makahanap kung ari sa bahay namin ng magandang place kung saan na yung magandang learning environment. At saka mahirap din po makapag-accomplish ng mga group works knowing na iba't iba po yung situation namin. Challenging siya kasi you need to maintain your good grades then bigla na lang mag-unstable yung internet connection mo at sasabay na, na rin ng brownouts. Isang spot lang po yung talagang malaya dun sa mga sasakyan. Kaya kailangan po kapag uh, mag-represent, kailangan dun na kami sa spot na yun. So kailangan mag-palisir na kami. Sabihin ko sa kapatid ko po na oh, ako muna dito ha. Kaya ayun po, parang super hirap na lalo na kapag may kapatid ka na naka-online classes din. I'm worried about stepping in a new environment without actually setting foot on that place. Kasi po, magka-college na po kami and hindi pa namin nabivisit yung aming new schools and we will interact with people that we haven't actually met personally po. I feel sad po kasi I'll be entering senior high school alone again in my room. But at the same time, I feel safe kasi hindi ako magbibigay ng sakit sa ibang tao and hindi ako magkakasakit myself. We're not all privileged to have the resources that we need. Buti sana kung mag-provide nila yung uh, internet for internet access, gadgets, kaso hindi lahat merong access doon. I'm most worried about po na ma- itong current online setup ay matutuloy pa rin throughout the years. Tapos uh, at may experience ko yung college years ko po virtually lang. what job or what career will be available for us. No? But more than that, na habang nagkakaroon tayo ng health crisis, ay tumataas rin yung mga ano, yung presyo ng mga bilihin, tumataas yung presyo ng kuryente at mga tubig, yung mga social services. Since pandemic nga, and we're not really allowed to cover or do field work, so right now, ang alam lang namin is what we're told. Pero hindi namin alam if what we're told would really translate in the real life. Ako ng fresh grad ako, hindi ko rin alam kung magkakatrabaho ako or kailan ako magkakatrabaho. So, ayun, ang dami pa rin uncertainty until now na sana mag- matapos itong pandemic ito para at least makamove forward tayo.